Welcome to CLC Guru. In this session, we will discuss about the topic conflicts in shift reduce parsing. The shift reduce parsing is a bottom up parsing technique. In this technique, the parser will implement the shift and reduce operation frequently. Initially, it will start with the shift operation and it will shift one or more input symbol from the input buffer into the top of the stack till a proper handle appears on the top of the stack. So whenever a proper handle appears on the top of the stack, the parser will implement the reduce operation to reduce the handle. So the shift and reduce operations will be implemented continuously until the stack derives the start symbol of the grammar and the input buffer contains only the dollar symbol. When this condition is reached, the parser will accept the given grammar. Otherwise, the parser will raise the error and implement the corresponding error recovery routine. So this is the concept of shift reduce parsing. The concept of shift reduce parsing and its implementation already we have discussed in our previous videos. I'll provide the link in the description for your reference. The shift reduce parsing we cannot able to implement for all the context free grammars because of the two types of conflicts in shift reduce parsing. One is shift reduce conflict and the other one is reduce reduce conflict. So throughout the implementation of the shift reduce parsing technique, the parser will implement only two operations. One is shift operation and the other one is reduce operation. So during its implementation, the parser may reach the condition whether to shift the next input symbol into the top of the stack or to reduce the current handle in the top of the stack. So the parser will get confused whether to implement the shift operation or the reduce operation. So when the parser reaches this condition, the conflict is called shift reduce conflict. So for example, consider the grammar A derives SA and B derives SAB. And if you are considering the stack element as SA and the next element in the input buffer is B. Now the stack contains the handle. SA is the handle. So we can reduce this SA to A. This also we can implement or otherwise if you are shifting the next input symbol into the top of the stack, we will get the handle as SAB. And this handle we can reduce to B. And the current handle we can reduce to A. So here the parser will get confused whether to shift the next input symbol into the top of the stack or reduce the current handle. So this conflict is called shift reduce conflict. Next is reduce reduce conflict. So reduce reduce conflict is nothing but during the implementation of shift and reduce operation whenever a handle appears on the top of the stack so for the same handle there are two production rules that is we can reduce the same handle for two production rules. So when the parser reaches this condition the conflict is called reduce reduce conflict. So reduce reduce conflict is nothing but parser will get confused for the same handle if two or more production rules are available, which of the several reductions to apply? So for example, consider the grammar A derives SA and B derives SA. So now the current element on the top of the stack is SA. So now the parser identified SA as the handle. For the same handle, there are two production rules available. So here the parser will get confused which production rule to apply whether to reduce this handle to A or to B. So here the parser will get confused which of the several reductions to apply. So this conflict is called reduce reduce conflict. So shift reduce conflict and reduce reduce conflict are the two main conflicts in shift reduce parsing technique. So because of these two conflicts we cannot able to implement this technique for all the context free grammars. In the next session, we will discuss the shift reduce conflict with example. Thank you for watching this video.